Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this dropshipping Shopify website. This website is desktop and mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. And this is a general dropshipping website, so no matter what kind of products you're dropshipping, you can follow this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Shopify account, how to connect an AliExpress product to your Shopify store, and then I'll be showing you how I designed this homepage. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First, you're going to want to set up your Shopify account. You can get started with a free trial. Then later, you can select which plan you'll be choosing for your business. Once you've set up your Shopify account, you're going to click products. And here you can add a new product. You can also create collections for your products. And if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just product categories that you've chosen to create. That way you can keep all of your products on your shop organized. Next, I'll be showing you how to connect a product from AliExpress to your Shopify store. So I'll be using the platform Deezers, and this is a dropshipping tool that is perfect for connecting the AliExpress dropshipping product to your Shopify store. First, you're going to want to set up your free Deezers account, and then you're going to select which platform you're using, and this will take you to the Shopify app store, where you can install Deezers directly into your Shopify store. Under link to suppliers, you're going to select AliExpress, and then you'll be redirected to a page where you can sign directly into your AliExpress account, and that's going to automatically connect it to your Deezers account. And then once you've opened Deezers, you're going to install their Chrome extension. Once you've added that to your Chrome extension, you're going to open it and then re-log into your Deezers account. This way, when you're searching for products on AliExpress, you'll have the option to connect that product straight to your Deezers account. Then you're going to open Deezers and go to Import List. And here is where you can view the products that you've imported. And then to connect this product to your Shopify store, you're going to click this icon right here. You're going to select also publish to online store, then click publish to stores. Then you're going to open up your Shopify account and click products. And as you can see, that product will have connected to your Shopify store. And here is where you can retitle the product. You can re-edit the full product description. Under variants, you can add or remove the color variants for the product. And when you click on one of the variants, you can reprice the product. Then when you open online store, then themes. Shopify's original Dawn theme should be installed already into your store. When you click catalog, this should take you to the shop all section of your website. And next, I'll be showing you how to connect the reviews from that AliExpress product to your Shopify store. You're going to open the Shopify app store, and here you're going to install the app Luke's Reviews. I'd recommend choosing their scale plan, and this plan includes a free trial, so you can always cancel it before your trial ends. Click add Luke's to your theme. And once you opened Luke's reviews, you're going to click reviews, click import reviews. Then you're going to drag and drop this icon and pin it to your bookmarks. Then when you open up a product here on AliExpress, then open that bookmark. You can connect that exact product to the Luke's reviews and you can select how many reviews you'd like to display. Then you can manually approve which reviews you'd like to display. Back here on Shopify, you're going to open up the Dawn website theme. When you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version of the website will look. And when you click full screen, it will show you how the website will look in full screen. I'm going to open up this product and right under the title, I'm going to click add block and I'm going to import a Luke's Reviews Trust Badge. And that's how to directly import those reviews from AliExpress. You'll also notice that the reviews badge will be embedded right here on the right side of your website. If you would like to remove this icon, open App Embeds, then you can remove this icon. At the bottom of the page, I'm going to click Add Section to Template, then click Apps. Here I'm going to import a rating widget, and I'm going to increase the size of this. Then you're going to insert a Product Reviews widget, and that will display all the product reviews. Next, I'll show you how to fill an order. So when you open Deezers, you're going to click Open Orders, then AliExpress. Click Awaiting Payment, and here is where you can see all the orders you've received, and you can submit the payment for them. Now I'm going to show you how to edit your shipping, returns, and refunds policies. First, you're going to open Settings, then click Policies. Here you can write your return and refund policy, your terms of service, and your shipping policy. Shopify also has default templates that you can use. Just be sure to edit those templates to fit your store. You can use AI writing tools like ChatGBT to write your return policies for you. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed this Shopify homepage. First, you're going to open that Dawn Shopify website. I'm going to click on the header, and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to top center. 
Then I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and here I'm gonna be displaying the social media icons. Click theme settings, then social media. Then you can paste the links to your brand's social media accounts. And those clickable social media icons will display up here on the announcement bar and down here on the footer of your website. Then I'm gonna be removing the announcement bar text. You can leave that in if you would like. Then I'm gonna open colors and then color scheme too. I'm gonna be changing the background to black. Then I'm gonna change the text to white, the button label to white, the solid button label to black, and then I'm gonna change the outline button to white. Then I'm gonna apply a gradient background effect. And for the gradient colors, I'm gonna be doing black and dark gray. I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme too. Then you're gonna click logos and here you can upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of the logo. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. And right here, you can remove that effect if you would like. Then if you'd like to customize the navigation bar, you're gonna go to online store, then navigation. Open your main menu, and here you can add more pages to the menu, and you can retitle the existing menu items. For an example, you can create a collection, and you can feature that collection here on your main menu. Next, I'll be showing you how I design this slideshow section. So first, you're gonna click add section to template, and I'm gonna be importing a slideshow. Then I'm gonna scroll down and remove this image banner. I'm gonna remove the heading text and the subheading, and I'm gonna remove the container. I'm gonna apply the outline button style. Under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom right. Then you can retitle this button label and paste a link to a page or a product collection within your website. And next, I'm gonna repeat all of those steps for the second slide. And for this page, under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom center. Click add block. And I'm also gonna repeat those steps for this third slide. And under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. All right, I've opened up Canva and I'm gonna click custom size. And the dimensions I'm gonna do for the web banner are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm gonna change the background color to a light gray. Then under elements, I've searched for a faded element and I'm gonna be uploading one of these onto the screen. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements. I'm gonna open up the frames and I'm gonna import a square frame. And then I'm gonna import a square shape. And I'm gonna position this behind the frame. Then I'm gonna select and duplicate this under upload files, you can upload your product pictures, then just drag and drop those onto the frames. Then I'm gonna insert a text box. I'm gonna put this in uppercase, then bold, and I'm gonna apply the font Futura. I'm gonna insert another text box, apply the font Futura, then put this in uppercase, then bold, and then italic. You're gonna duplicate this text box, then remove the bold and italic effect. I'm gonna upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then bold, then I'm gonna apply the font Arial. Click add page, then I'm gonna scroll up and I'll be copying and pasting that faded effect as well as this text box. I'm gonna insert an image frame and I'm gonna upload a square shape. Then I'm gonna duplicate this twice. And then you can drag and drop your product photos onto those frames. Then you're gonna upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then bold and italic. Then I'm gonna duplicate this text box, create a smaller tagline text right below it. I'm gonna upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font to Futura. Click add page, and again, I'm gonna copy and paste that faded effect and the lower text box. I'm gonna upload an image frame, then upload another square shape. Then I'm gonna be duplicating this. Then you can drag and drop your pictures. Upload a text box, then apply the font to the signature, and I'm gonna upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font to Futura, and I'm gonna upload one last text box, put this in uppercase, and then bold. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. You're gonna download each of these pages in a PNG format for the best quality. Then here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload that main web banner. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then you can upload the remaining web banners. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow section of the website. 
Also, in case you just don't have time to design your website, this Shopify theme template is available on my store. I've put together this pre-made Shopify template, and if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format, and here on Shopify, you can easily install that zip file into your store. The theme is already laid out for you, so all you'd have to do is add your pictures and change the text. This is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating in this video. I've designed all of these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download the templates. I've also included a detailed instruction guide to help you with installing and editing the website. This Shopify website template will save you a ton of time that will be linked in my description box below. Next I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. So right here I'm going to import a collection list. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Be sure to enable the view all button if you have more than 4 collections. And also enable swipe on mobile. Open typography and I'm going to be changing the main font to Archivo Narrow Bold. And then I'm going to be changing the secondary font to Assistant Bold. It will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. Under image ratio, I'm going to set this to portrait. Now I'm going to show you how I designed those collection covers. Here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size and the dimensions I'm going to do are 1179 by 1473 pixels. Under elements, I'm going to upload an image grid, then I'm going to upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then bold, and I'm going to apply the font Futura. I'm going to change this to the color white, then click effects and apply a lift effect. Then I'm going to duplicate this page four times to represent those four displayed collections. Of course, if you have more than four collections, you can just create more of these pages. Then you can drag and drop pictures to represent each of those collections. Once you're finished, you can download each of these collection covers. Then here on Shopify, when you open a collection or create a new collection, right under image is where you can upload the designated collection cover. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. So right here, I'm going to be inserting a rich text. And I'm going to remove the text and the button label. Then I'm going to set this to Color Scheme 2. I'm going to duplicate this section. Then in between these two sections, I'm going to import an image banner. And I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to remove the second button label. And next, you can insert your text. Then you can retitle this button label and select a link to a page or a product collection within your website. And then for this section, I'm going to apply color scheme 2. Here on Canva, you're going to open up that web banner page and click add page. I'm going to insert a square shape and I'm going to insert an image frame. Then I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to duplicate this and position it to the back. For the ones on the side, I'm going to lower the transparency of these. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures onto all these frames. I've searched for another faded element and I'm going to be uploading one of these. And then you're going to download that page. Then you can upload that background web banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to small. And under image behavior, I'm going to apply the zoom in on scroll. Once you're done, that's how I designed the about us section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the shop qualities section. So right here, I'm going to be importing a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading text and I'm going to remove the button label. Increase the number of columns to 4. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center and remove the column background. Then under heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can put a mini description to match. Here on Canva, I'm going to open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to change the background to white, then upload a circle shape. Then I've searched for a faded circle effect and I'm going to be uploading one of these and that will add a subtle ombre effect. Then you can search for the icon to represent each of those shop qualities. Then I'm going to duplicate this page and add the remaining icons. And once you're finished, you can download each of these icons. Here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the featured collection. So right here, I'm going to be importing a featured collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section. I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured product collection. 
Next, I'll be showing you how I added the customer reviews section and the email sign up. So right here, I'm going to be importing a multi-column. I'm going to remove the button label, set the column alignment to center, and increase the number of columns to four. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a column under heading, I'll be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the customer's review. I'd also recommend putting the customer's name. I'll be using this text as an example, but you can also paste the link leading straight to the product they left their review on. Then I'm gonna import an email signup. And for the email signup, I'm gonna apply color scheme three. Then I'm gonna open color scheme three. I'm gonna change the background to white change the text to black, then I'm going to apply a gradient background effect. And the gradient is going to be white and a light gray. Once you're done, that's how I added the displayed customer reviews section and the email sign up. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the TikTok promo section. So right here, I'm going to be importing a video section. I'm going to remove the heading text, select play video on loop, then I'm going to make the section full width. I'm also going to remove the top and bottom padding. Here on Canva, I've opened up that same web banner page and I'm going to click add page. Under elements, I'm going to open frames and I'm going to import a phone image frame. Then I'm going to search for and import a TikTok icon. I'm going to upload a text box and apply the font to the signature. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase and apply the font Futura. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box and put this in bold. Upload one last text box. Here you can type in your TikTok username. Apply the font Futura and I'm going to put this in italic. I'm going to upload a square shape and apply a border. Under videos, you can upload the TikToks that you're going to be featuring. Then drag and drop them onto those photo frames. Then you're going to download this page in an MP4 format. Here on Shopify, you can click select video and upload that video design. Then I'm going to import a rich text and I'm going to remove the text. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's TikTok account. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the TikTok promo section. By the way, if you are a beginner to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with creating products, setting up your Shopify payments, reading your analytics page, and more, my Shopify basics guide is now available. This is a detailed Shopify guide that I've put together. It includes everything you'll need to know from setting up your Shopify account to launching your store. In this guide, I've included a collection of video tutorials, written tips, and live examples. That way you can easily understand each section. That guide will be linked in my description box and be sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off your order. And lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the ending web banner section. So right here, I'm going to be importing an image banner. Then you can retitle this section. Then you can retitle these button labels and select your links. Back here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to import an image grid, then upload a square shape and position this behind the image grid. Then you can drag and drop your pictures. I'm going to upload another faded element. Then position this behind that second image grid. I'm going to upload a text box, change this to the color white, then apply the lift effect. Then I'm going to apply the font Babus New and put this in bold. And once you're finished, you can download this page. Then you can upload that background web banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the ending web banner section. Alright, and here is the finished Shopify dropshipping website. Don't forget this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully done for you Shopify theme template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip format. You can easily install that Shopify theme zip file into your Shopify store. This pre-made Shopify website will save you a ton of time. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating in this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. This bundle also includes a step-by-step -step instruction guide to help you with installing and editing the website. That will be linked in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.